I'm going to do random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson rules and I want to practice forcing a hand so that the next time I play in a tournament I'll be ready to win a prize. I have a strip for every category in the book and we'll pick six strips and force hands in those categories. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They have been mixed. We're going to mix these strips up here and pick six categories. Oopsies. Okay. So we have sequence hands. Pair hands, mixed suits, number hands, transitions, gate, gate hands. All right, let's do force one. We'll just say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 14 tiles. Oh, I forgot to roll for prevailing. I rolled a seven. Seven would be west. No hands of honors. Look at all those dragons. You know what though? Oh, I was thinking we could play a date hand, but there's no date hand up there either. All right, let's just organize. Wow, look at that. Oh man, I would totally try for probably Heavenly Twins if that were up there, but it's not. We want to win a prize. So let's see, what can we do with this? I'm thinking we have one, two, five, six, eight, nine, two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking we could maybe play Dragon Lineup with the BAMs. One, two, three, six, eight, nine. Right there. That's a pretty significant number of tiles right there. Let's see here. So we have 11 tiles towards Dazzle, which is a sequence hand. Or we could play, let's see here, maybe what we should do instead is play, we have one, two, three, Pung Chow up here, and then play, let's see, I think there's fewer discards this way. Hung Chow here, which is a sequence hand, and then Dazzle down here, which is a pair hand. Okay, Transitions has a lot of news possibility. I think I'd rather wait and see if we have a better random pull for Transitions. Same with Number Tiles. We don't have enough. We would need uh, a West Wind for Wally. Um, which hopefully we can read about number hands in the next random pull. For gate hand, we might be able to do a gate hand here. Let's see. Yeah, let's look at gate hands. Those are kind of hard. So let's see. Dragon gates. 111 or 999 with a sequence of 2 through 8. Perfect. We need a three dot and a five dot, two away from dragon gates. I would do that. Dragon gates and Peng Chow. Uh, let's see, as an option, I think I would go ahead and hold the dragons and even the winds to see if another dragon lineup or news lineup, which uses a sequence of one through nine with the 
either news or one of each of the dragons. Of course, we have a pung down here, so we'd need the only remaining dragon up here, which is pretty unlikely. So I think that we can call this one for sequence and gate. We got one of the hard ones out of the way with the gate. Sequence hand, gate hand. If you would do something different here, write force one and what you would do differently in the comment section. Let's move on to force two. Force two, we have five. That would be east is prevailing. Okay, so here we have NE, still not enough for transitions, I don't think. We'll look in a minute. Uh, but we do have east and red. There's a hand called Eleanor. We have a pair, a pair. We would need a pair of bams. Let me read Eleanor to you. That's a number hand, which is on page 22. Eleanor is number 40. Three different numbers punged in each suit with a pair, a pung of east winds and a pair of red dragons. So let's just see. So we have a six and a seven, so we would need to use one of these, because it has to be a different number. And then down here, we could do a mixed suit option. So we have one, six, seven, nine, six, eight, nine, seven, I think, one, two, four, seven, eight, six, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. I'm thinking big chows down here. The challenge is going to be here with the sevens, which are shared, and also the eight. We could use that down here, though, because we still have two numbers as an option for BAMs. Okay, so let's see what we're left with. Hopefully, we can get to eight discards. We need a pair of sixes. Seven, okay, pair, we need a pair of sixes, seven, eight, nine, and three suits, and then seven, eight, nine mixed. And that leaves nine discards. I think that's totally doable. Now, yeah, okay, we have, we have Eleanor for number hands and mixed suits. I would call that done. Number hands and mixed suits right there. If you would do something differently here, let me know. Now for this next one, oh, this would be force two. So this next one, we have to make pair hands work, which I think will be pretty easy. Pair hands are pretty easy. And then transitions, which is gonna be a challenge. Transitions, four of the eight transition hands require news. So we need wins. I rolled an 11. 11, so it'd be 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. Okay, here we go. Last one. I think we're going to make a news work here. We might be able to get some transition hand going. Okay, now we need transitions and pair hand. So we have one pair here, one pair there, and 
we do have news. Here's a pung of Norths. Oh my goodness. Too bad. Look, neutrality. North with five BAMs. If I weren't forcing a hand, I'd try to play neutrality. Okay, well, let's move on because that's not up on there anymore. So we're playing pair hands and transitions. So transitions is on page 19. This category was developed to help new players. If you're teaching anybody how to play Wright-Patterson style, you can. the idea was that you can start them on page 19 and just limit them to those hands to get, give them a good idea of what it's like to play this style. I am not sure. I, I don't really care for that idea. I like having the, all the hands throughout the, in, the, in the correct categories myself. But hey, they're trying something new and I applaud them for that. All right, so let's look. We have honorettes, which is five pairs of honors and or terminals with news. Five pairs of honors and or terminals with news. Okay, because we do have terminals here. Let's just pull everything down here just for a minute and see. So we have news and a pair. So we would need uh, news with a pair and the pairs can be uh, honors or terminals. Honors are wins and dragons. So we would need to pair these up. That's one option. Another option would be newsy pungs, number 19. Again, this is on page 19. Three numbers punged in one suit with news and one win paired. So there's news with one win paired. And then we have, we really don't have very many multiples here, unfortunately. We have one potential pung in two suits, but it has to be the same suit. We have the same situation there. Um, let's see here. Okay, there's a hand called Picket Fence. Picket Fence, let me just put this together here. Okay, Picket Fence is number 24. One through five in one suit, right there. And then six through eight, wait, where'd it go? Six through eight in a second suit. Oh, look, we have almost the same the same number, six through eight, we got gaps, but that's not bad. We've got this done, this is done, this is ready to win on either an eight dot or a seven crack. Okay, so that leaves down here pretty depleted. I think picket fence would be a good, wait, picket fence. Yep, you need a wind paired. I think that's a good opportunity there. And then for the pair hand, I think what I would do is use the dots because I think we're left with dots. So we need a seven crack to win. This hand is ready to win, picket fence. And then down here, play, try to play doublets. I, we only have one pair. There's a long way to go with this hand here. Or we could play Betty. Betty is red, white, and green dragon, news with one tile paired in the honors, and then five pairs of simples in one suit. So I would hold those. That's a long shot. I think I'd rather just collect dots and try to make that work. So that leaves us with nine discards, which is, oh, wait a minute, we need this. Okay, so that leaves us with six discards because this is part of this hand here. There we go. Okay, that's not bad at all. Six discards, that's really good actually. I don't know if this pair hand is gonna work though. I mean, it'll work, but it's gonna take a while to get to a winning 
or set or ready hand. Anyway, uh, transitions up here with picket fence and then pair hand down here. And that's the way I would play it. If you would do something different, let me know. That was kind of exciting. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. I hope that it helps build your confidence with decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of fours for Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson rules, may all your picks be keepers.